gunfire can still be heard echoing through the streets of Libya's capital. It's been some four days since rebels swept into Tripoli, marking the beginning of the end of Muammar Gaddafi's regime. He's refusing to surrender, vowing to fight on until, quote, victory or martyrdom. Libya to come. A pro-Gaddafi TV station broadcasts this message it says came from the leader. In it, he calls on Libyans to destroy the rebels, saying, quote, Tripoli for the people of Tripoli. Rebels have offered a $2 million bounty on Gaddafi, and Britain's defense secretary says NATO was helping to find him. I can confirm that NATO is providing intelligence and reconnaissance assets. This is my home, Gaddafi. Meantime, rebels were one step closer Thursday when they stormed into a bunker in the private compound of Gaddafi and his family. But now we are free. We can do everything in him house. It's for the people now. An AP crew followed along. Inside were letters in Arabic addressed to his son, as well as a collection of designer clothes. And back on the streets of Tripoli, it's still chaotic. This amateur video shows prisoners being freed from the city's top security jail, one that's held many opponents of Gaddafi's regime. Uh, they told us that there is no security guards in there and there's no keys for the uh, cells and uh, the doors and everything. So if you can, break, break out. Meantime, hospitals in Tripoli are still struggling to deal with an unknown number of casualties. It's also not clear how many civilians have been injured in the fighting. Nicole Grether, The Associated Press.